One moment you can receive an impartation and that's it. But transformation is a process because you have to partner with the word of God for your mindset and your orientation to now to transcend certain realms to certain higher realms. It says, come up hither and I will show you. You will not see it from that plane. Come up hither and I will show you the things that will happen thereafter. Hi, family of God. You are welcome to Believers Global TV on, on this channel. We create Christian content. That is what we do. Nothing else. Christian content. And on this, on this channel, there are three things you are going to benefit from this channel by being a subscriber. First, you are going to be learning how to cultivate a quality prayer life with God. How to build a personal relationship with God through prayers. So, you are going to be learning principles that will make you to understand what prayer is all about and how to engage them to be able to attain the kind of prayer life relationship that I want to build with God. Then number two, you are going to also be learning the principles that are contained in the word of God that will make you to excel in your life, in your business, in your career, in your marriage, in anything that you do at all. Then number three, you are also going to be learning the principles of how to live in your, in your immediate environment like relationships and so on and so forth. So, believers, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to this channel if you're a believer, turn on the notification bell, and also like this message if you're a believer. Do like it. We are advancing the kingdom of God here. So, without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message of today. God bless you. I'm truly, truly very honored tonight. Um, we have in our midst not just our royal fathers from my hometown, but the entire traditional council. They came all the way from Lantang North and South, led by His Royal Highness, the Ponjizini himself, the acting president of the Joint Traditional Council. Come on, these are my people. Would you give them a big, big, big honor? This is a house of honor. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the interesting thing is this. The entire royal fathers, they literally represent the entire traditional council where I come from. And um, I was very honored, truly very honored. I don't know if they have done this to anybody I know, any son of the soil, that the entire traditional council would come right from my village and here, every single one of them, all the chiefdoms here represented, hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, please listen to me. You see, it is one thing for an individual to love the Lord, but when your territory, represented by the royal fathers, decide to come and honor Jesus themselves, that is already a miracle for that territory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And... Um, we had a very wonderful session with them discussing about the land and, you know, just appraising what God has been doing so far and coming up with very positive recommendations um, as to be able to move this territory. You cannot write the story of Christianity in Nigeria and the Middle Belt without talking about the love and labor my people are typically warriors. I come from a lineage of warriors. But then, in as much as that is true, they embrace the gospel and it is by it that it was able to spread around. Hallelujah. And so, I believe that what is happening in this place tonight is prophetic, not only for my people, but it's going to become a model 
We have sung endlessly here that there are kings and there are kingdoms. There are mountains and there are thrones. But that in our life and by the light that is helping us to shine, that only Yeshua. Hallelujah. So what you are witnessing tonight is not just my fathers, my royal fathers coming together, but it is a prophetic sign to Nigeria, to Africa, that it is time that the kingdoms of this world, that they become in experience the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. Hallelujah. At our earlier, at the meeting we had earlier on, I was discussing with them and we mentioned the fact that I've traveled a bit around the world and even within this nation. And I remember a place that I, I, I visited and they showed me the pulpit of the missionaries, people like Samuel Ajayi Crowder, Joseph Johnson. These were people who loved the Lord. And I remember in that story, the person who was giving us the narration told us that that land changed when the king officially embraced Jesus. There is something about citizens independently embracing Jesus. But when kings that represent the gatekeepers of territory say, as for me and my kingdom, we will serve the Lord. That's what happened in Daniel chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar made a decree that no one would defy the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. And so, please, I want you to allow me. I am going to invite His Royal Highness, Nimnan Langnim, the Ponjizini, acting on behalf of the entire traditional council to just come and bring us a word of greetings. Please, honor a Royal Father. Can we make some good noise for the Lord? I wouldn't want to take so much of your time, but I give God the glory, the honor. I want to appreciate my spiritual father. I also want to appreciate the entirety of Lantan Joint Traditional Council. We are here to honor our own. We are here to bless Jesus. And we are here representing all the kingdoms in Tarok land to surrender the entirety of our land to Jesus. Thank you, and may God bless all of us. Thank you. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, let me tell you something very humbling. One of the major reasons why they came was that they made up their minds as the kings and as the entire territory that they traveled all the way to come and hand over the entire Tarot nation to Jesus. I do not know. Listen. I have seen awakenings. I have seen moves. But this is the first time in my life I know that kings together representing an entire nation and are coming to say we are kings. There's none of them who is missing. All of them are complete. The entire chief dogs. I'm not aware of any. Hallelujah. 
It is one thing to be a blessing to people around the world, but when God visits your own land, it is a great blessing. Hallelujah. It's been our prayer, it's been our cry that God will restore something that my people lost years ago. Yeah. Hallelujah. Historically, not to bore you, but just, just give me this honor for a few minutes. There are people who have the mantle of warriors. They live on mountains. There are people who are warriors in the spirit. I'm sure that you can see it in the regalia of his royal highness himself is an emblem of not just royalty but strength you see that and you see it reflected even in the nigerian army and several other things is a grace that god gave the people and they embrace the gospel but along the line some of our forefathers for whatever reason we still honor them but they went into the worship of the dead the worship of masquerades, the worship of all kinds of things, being beguiled by strange spirits. But then we thank God because God will always leave himself a witness. <laughs> Hallelujah. And this is just an example to show you that your prayers are being heard by God. That every time we pray over the nations, over the, the kingdoms, and we sing his praises, this is not just mere religion. This is truly apostolic Christianity. When territories come to the knowledge of Jesus, hallelujah, I was almost in tears as we had the discussion. And I want to, to tell you that there is none of these, my royal fathers standing here, there is none of them who will not say amen, bowing their heads in prayer when you mention the name of Jesus. I have not seen that happen. I know you can have a council where one or two people love the Lord and then others are just doing their thing. But that they have made up their minds that as for the Tarok nation, and I'm saying this to the globe, but also to my people, in the name of Jesus, in our lifetime, we will see the Lord restore the glory of Zion. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, they made a very humbling request, and I want to honor that request before we continue. I am going to respectfully ask the entire Royal Council to please come up on stage and just be here. And they have requested that the entire Koinonia Global family should pray for them. <laughs> Hallelujah. So please, let's give them a big honor, every one of them. Give them a big honor. Adonai, Lamb of God, you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, let your kingdom reign in my life. Adonai. Hallelujah. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be standing close to these great men who represent literally without exaggeration the entire traditional council of the Tarot Nation. And they have requested that we pray as a global family. They are our fathers in the flesh. But by the privilege of God's grace, they have discerned that which God has placed upon us. And I'll ask them to stand. Please do not kneel, sir. Your standing is fine. It's enough. Hallelujah. But from the depth of your heart, by the privilege of priesthood, may I request Koinonia Global. I know there are people following from the United States, Europe, Africa, pastors connecting from across. Please pray for my land. 
pray for the nation pray for my fathers in one minute Lord we establish righteousness we decree and declare let revival come upon the Tarok nation let our sons and daughters call upon the name of he that died and rose again someone is praying use the royal fathers as a point of contact let there be economic revival educational revival healthcare revival in the name of jesus we hand over this nation to jesus the entire tarok nation in the name of jesus you belong to jesus the son of the living god go ahead and pray in one minute father like you did in fiji island like you did in europe like you did in america like you did in the history of nigeria visit our land again visit our people again visit our children again visit our sons and daughters again visit our fathers again and it shall come to pass that i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh your sons your daughters old and young in the name of jesus in the name of jesus one more prayer political power will come and go but royalties remain until death hallelujah the government we had 20 years ago is not the government we had 10 years ago in fact the government we started this year with is not the government that is currently in power at best you have eight years as a president or a governor and then you come and go but the royal fathers remain that means for any impact to last beyond the political power the fathers must receive that agenda are we together we are going to use our fathers in one minute not to keep them waiting as a point of contact you will now pray for your land lord if you have done it in the tarot nation reproduce it in my land go ahead and pray we are using the tarot nation and this revival that is beginning go ahead the north the east south and west south south southwest pray for every clan every tribe using the model of this that has happened tonight we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ so I will pray now, we'll pray in that capacity by the spirit of grace. Father, it is an honor to lift up the beautiful Tarok nation that you have so honored and lifted. It is out of that nation that we have come and you have granted us the grace to make our contribution as far as blessing the earth is concerned. That every sound that men hear from us has come from this ancestry and Lord we honor our fathers and we honor this nation for the foundation and for all that you established and Lord our fathers in their entirety have come demanding that the entire Tarot nation be handed over to Jesus and so father I stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle in the name of Jesus standing as your servant I decree and declare in the presence of our fathers we speak to gates we speak to territories over the Tarot nation hear the word of the Lord the kings and the priests have agreed that Jesus and his power and his reign alone will be seen there As far as dominion is concerned, it is the business of the king and the priest. And prophetically we stand here 
that the king and the priest are in agreement, we say Maranatha. Yeah. Let revival come. Yeah. Let our sons and daughters arise. Yeah. Let many Joshua Selmans arise. Yeah. Let greater than Joshua Selmans arise. Yeah. In education, in politics, in military, in ministry, in the name of Jesus. By this declaration, we declare that the spirit of untimely death comes to end over our land. The spirit of poverty comes to end over our land. Every covenant that has come with the worship of the dead, the worship of all kinds of negative ancestral powers, I stand by the privilege of priesthood. We rattle that spirit to its foundation. We declare liberty to our sons and daughters. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare over the Tarok nation, Jesus and him alone is Lord. Across the entire chiefdoms, across the length and the breadth of this region and this nation, let Jesus alone be exalted. Lord, we pray that everything that has held us down as a people, finally the exodus comes. Our exodus into Canaan, in the name of Jesus. Therefore, in the presence of the fathers of the land, and in the name of he who died and rose again, I stand by this apostolic and this prophetic mandate, and we declare this land dedicated unto Jesus in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let's honor them as they return back to their seats. Come on, Koinonia. Give them a big, big God bless you. Please usher them. Are you still clapping? Emmanuel, God is weak. He shall reign. He shall reign. He shall reign forever. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Some of these fathers you see are very old people. May I, what, what's the oldest, the, the oldest age there? Please remind me. 92. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you again, Your Royal Highness. May God bless you. Please, let's be seated. Now, welcome to Koinonia. <laughs> Hallelujah. But let me add a word or two. Um, we had very extensive times discussing with our Royal Fathers. And um, honestly, it was a burden to me because among the many things that we discussed, we zoomed down on two very important things that I believe is in desperate need. And I'm talking to everyone, but I'm also talking to my people. Number one, the fathers agreed that there needs to be a miracle in the healthcare system of the people within there. And I think it's not just peculiar to them. I think most religions have a serious problem as far as healthcare is concerned. I was so burdened. And then number two, the issue of education. I've been burdened. There's no tertiary institution, not one, in my entire region. And yet, professors have come out of there, very intelligent, noble people. It became a very serious burden for me. And of course, we have done our bid, and we continue to do our bid in terms of education, um, 
It's an honor that God has given to be able to, to make contributions to help the sons and daughters of the soil to be able to have their educational experience. This we have done faithfully and also committed ourselves to build boreholes across you know, the territories. We have started the goal, the next phase now is to take it from its current number to have 50 boreholes stationed across the entire <laughs> length and breadth of the regions. Now because it is a mountainous region, there are other areas where no matter how deep you sink, you will not find water. And, um, you know, it's, it's very important. But I was really burdened when he spoke about education because a territory cannot be developed until institutions are planted there. When there is a university or there is a polytechnic, with it will come commercial activities from housing to transportation, feeding, stationaries and all of that. This is how development happens within a territory. And then healthcare, when healthcare, when something is wrong with healthcare, every other thing goes down. Hallelujah. And so we'll continue to make our contributions. I know and I believe, and I'm speaking to the globe, perhaps the international community, and you're hearing me, and there are agencies that are passionate about making active kingdom investments and contribution. Let me recommend a place for you. You may want to consider coming to do a university or coming to do a polytechnic in my region. And I think it will be a great blessing to the people. But healthcare, I'm hoping that God will grant us grace. It's, it's not a promise, but it's really a burden as a result of the discussion. I'm hoping that God will grant us grace if possible to be able to build a hospital, you know, and yes, so that um, it can help to improve. But for now, we, we will have to do something. It's my commitment, and I discussed with them already, that we'll try, even if it's to put a week long and bring in doctors, you know, and then have them treat some of the people, just send whatever it is. It is better than nothing. We cannot wait until the day that a hospital is there. For the boreholes, we'll keep building, and for the children, we'll continue. We're only stepping up the scholarships that we have been given so that it can now help the people to tertiary institutions and then help them completely until they are done with their program. And um, we have done this and will continue to be faithful. So um, I'm really speaking to people, not just here, but uh, across the globe, that you are burdened and you want to make active contributions in the area of education, the area of healthcare. Why not? You can prayerfully consider and um, you can be guided on what to do. But I'm praying for everyone here that a day will come your people will recognize your contribution and they will come to acknowledge God publicly in your life. This is what impact is all about. It's not just about having a name for the sake of a name. It's not about building an empire, but that we're able to live our lives effectively making a mark we are not called to do everything but you see global transformation starts one person at a time for every one life you impact you have reduced the number of people who are left one person one person one person this may be a message for someone everyone wants someone to do something for them but the world is looking for people who will be selfless enough to be able to make their contribution. That at the end of our lives, it will not just be the cars, houses, estates, travels, but it will be that you were able to make a significant contribution. This is the purpose of prosperity. This is the purpose of influence. This is the purpose of access. This is the purpose of lifting. Dr. Miles of Blessed Memory will say, when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Hallelujah. So thank you again for helping to honor uh, the traditional council. And once again, we truly honor them. And we pray that the Lord himself will bless them for this bold decision that they have made. 
and reward them in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for staying to the end of this message. I know your life has been blessed. I know your soul has been blessed by this message. And I encourage you, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, oh, I'm saying I'm begging now, oh, please subscribe to this channel. And also like this message you have just listened to. And also share with others. In that way, you're also doing the work of an evangelist. So don't be ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Let someone know about Jesus because you are still breathing. God bless you. See you in another video. Bye. 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 <laughs>